What is good YouTube? It is your boy Svenny D coming at you with another PVZ Garden Warfare 2 video. My last video was covering the three new plant characters and kind of just giving you guys a quick little breakdown. Nothing too too in depth. Those videos are probably going to come after the game actually comes out. But um, I did it for the three new plants. Now we're going to do it for the three new zombies. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um... You know, it's kind of a direction that I was thinking about taking my channel in, as far as, um, aside, as you might know, if you guys have been around, me and Jillian have uh, started to hit the vlog thing pretty heavy, um, and, and we're definitely going to be continuing to do that. It's just something we enjoy doing, and, you know, hopefully if we can bring you guys a couple of laughs or something that you can take back with you after you get off your computers, phones, whatever it may be, that is all we're looking for, but, um... As far as the PVZ thing goes, it's definitely something I'm strongly considering with how much I am enjoying this game and how much of a lifespan I feel this game will have for me personally. And that's what it's all about. If I'm having fun with something and, you know, I can bring you guys some form of entertainment from that, I definitely want to go with it. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. Here is the three new zombie characters and a little breakdown in each one. First things first on the illest, on the realest. I'm not gonna be dropping any Iggy, uh, Iggy Azalea on you guys. I wanna spare you from uh, the atrocity that I would commit if I did such an act. But anyways, on to the first of the three characters we're gonna be reviewing. He is the one, the only, the Imp. His three abilities are Gravity Grenade, Robocall, and Imkata. As we all know, I'm sure a lot of us have been been getting a little crazy with Imkata. Apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But um as far as using this guy, one thing that really sticks out first and foremost is his extremely low health. He only has 50 hit points, which is the lowest in the entire game for either side. But aside from that, you don't want to be fooled because this guy is an extremely formidable opponent. Using the Gravity Grenade and the Imkata together is absolutely lethal. I've been using that a lot in multiplayer, and it has just been mowing guys down. You know, with that said, though, you got to be careful, and if you're going to go and try to be all gun-ho and run and gun with this dude, you're probably going to get a lot of deaths. The one thing that makes him formidable in a frontline type of, I guess, gun style would be what you're seeing right now. And that is the Mecha. This thing is an absolute monster. Has an insanely amount of hit points. I think 400 hit points. Has the um, missile attack where he just launches 45 missiles in, in a matter of 10 seconds. He's very, very strong if he uses his melee against you. He's just an all-around monster. So the Imp is definitely somebody that is very, very fun to use. Like I said, you might find yourself getting a little frustrated with his low health. But once you kind of learn how to work around that, you'll be perfectly fine. Uh, one recommended way to use him would be to stick around a scientist. But now we're going to be moving on to the second of the three. And that is going to be my dude, Super Brains. This guy is a ton of fun to play with. His three abilities, he has the Super Ultra Ball, the Turbo Twister, and the Heroic Kick. All pretty three badass secondaries. I don't know why I call them secondaries. I'll just say all three attacks. Um, first off, the Super Ultra Ball. It's pretty much just like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Dragon Ball Z, but the... Ooh, yay, yeah, I don't really know what the actual term is for it, but it's something like that. It's just an extremely strong and powerful energy ball that you can shoot at your enemies and one way I like to use this is because he has an extremely high jump so I like to jump up as high as I can and just unload this thing in the center of a bunch of people um, he's pretty good on multiplayer I still need to get to use him more but you know just having the melee attacks primarily kind of turns me away from him I would definitely say that he is the male counter or the zombie counterpart to the chomper um, his second ability is the Turbo Twister. It's very similar to Imp's Impka, Imp, Impicata? Impicata. I don't know. I'm just going to start calling it the Imp Enchilada attack. But it's very similar to that attack. However, he's not just raining down a storm of bullets. He is rather raining down a storm of fists. So, it's definitely a guy that you want to use in close quarter combat. I do 
No, I've come across a couple of variations online where they do have long range attacks, so I'm really excited to get to use that when the actual game releases in February. Um, and then we go to his third attack, the heroic kick. This is an extremely long distance kick like you just saw there. It's a pretty powerful attack. All in all, like I said, I need to kind of use this guy more and give him more of a chance. But um, he's a pretty badass dude. Now we're going to go to a third and final character of the new three. And that is going to be Captain Deadbeard. Uh, now Captain Deadbeard is a pretty interesting character if I don't say so. His three abilities, he has the Barrel Blast, the Parrot Pal, which you're seeing me use right now, and the Cannon Rodeo. Now I didn't really get to use this guy a lot the first couple of days because I just really wasn't in tune to his playstyle. But I will say that I loved the Cactus and if I had to compare him to a plant... Who, he most, who he's most similar to, it would definitely be the Cactus, hands down. Obviously, the Cactus has the Garlic Drone. Captain Deadbeard has the Parapel. They both have very, very powerful long-range shots. So this is definitely a guy that you'd be best using at a distance. If you try to get in any close quarter encounters, you're probably going to get mauled down pretty quickly. And you know, one thing I was kind of disappointed of, disappointed with at first was to see that the Engineer didn't have the um what do you want to call it the flying robot that he had in plants vs zombies garden warfare one but then when i kind of got to use this guy and i got to actually play multiplayer i did realize that it's a pretty good it's a good way to balance out multiplayer because the engineer was definitely overpowered in the first game um so this is kind of a good way to balance it and it gives people it entices people to use captain deadbeard more so than they probably would if you didn't have this um, his other attack, Barrel Blast, now this is one thing, you don't want to get into close quarter combat situations with him, but at the same time, the Barrel Blast is an absolutely deadly attack where you can take out two or even three enemies at a time, as I've done. Um, the only downfall with the Barrel Blast is that it does have a pretty significant load time, so when you're going, you're going to crawl extremely slow, and then when you actually hit detonate, it's going to take, I don't know, three to five seconds, I would say, if not longer. So it's definitely something you need to be anticipating your enemy's movements with. Um, so yeah, the Barrel Blast, Parapel, and the Cannon Rodeo, which is just absolutely... You will ruin people's days with a Cannon Rodeo, like I said. It's absolutely... It's just terrorizing <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of to use to describe it but let me know what you guys think of the video i have plenty of more planes vs zombies garden warfare 2 content i'm going to bring you guys and like i said it's something that i'm considering taking my channel in the direction of so let me know what you guys think about that um i'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of stuff with other games as well there's a lot of games i'm anticipating coming out this year like the division homefront there's just, the list goes on and on. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, it's your boy Svenny D. And I will catch y'all later. Peace.